Ooh wee. That is a shade you're gonna have to be careful with. Y'all know if the ooh wee comes out, Barbara is impressed. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. Today I'm doing my second Sephora VIB first impressions, and this is the look that I came up with. Now, I tried to recreate the look that I had in my Ulta haul video because you guys seem to love that and the eyeshadow is a little more bold because of the palette that I use. Spoiler alert, it is freaking amazing. But other than that, I feel like this is pretty much the face, maybe a little more red on the cheeks in that video. But again, it's just because I wanted to use the Sephora products. We had some hits, we had some misses. I will let you know that right now, but I'm not gonna give too much away. So if you wanna see how I got this face, using all of, not all, <laughs> had way too many products for all, but some of the products that I got during the Sephora Spring Savings VIB sale, then stay tuned to keep on watching. All right guys, so we're gonna jump right in with this video. I don't want it to be too long. I feel like my videos lately have been kind of long. This is another Sephora VIB sale, get ready with me, first impressions. But the look I'm gonna do, you guys have been asking about a look I did in my Ulta haul, where I think that's like my most basic, wanna get ready, kinda look done, but not too done look. And you guys seem to love it. So I'm gonna try to recreate that with these Sephora products. So for primer, I'm going to start off with the Hourglass Airbrush primer i have not tried this yet and i used to use the mineral veil primer all the time but y'all know that was super expensive this is a little less expensive it does come packaged similarly not quite the same but a little similar and of course very luxe glass bottle frosted and this is what it looks like so it's a very it's kind of thick formula I'm just curious because I feel like the other one kind of felt like it was drying down a little bit to a powder and I'm not sure how this one's gonna feel so my biggest thing is this says airbrush so I want to see these pores minimized I don't want my wrinkles showing after which I know will have something to do with the foundation I use as well but for the most part I want this to do its job because it was expensive so it feels good, definitely feels like it's smoothing, so I can see why the claims say that. Initial impression, I do like this. I do feel like it kind of smooths stuff out, but we will see how it applies with my foundation. I am going to use, I got my little box of goodies right here, the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Serum Foundation. Now, I got this in the shade 19G. I don't normally do a golden undertone, but I felt like this was the closest match for me. Where is the golden in this? I know it looks dark. I feel like it looks a little bit darker in here than it does when you pump it out, but I actually like the packaging of this. I don't know, is it just me? I think it's super cute, kind of looks. You twist the top off and then it's just this tube and then I'll go ahead and put a little bit on the back of my hand so you guys can see what it looks like that's the foundation there and you can see it is running a little bit but I do feel like it looks a little different than what it looks like in the tube so keep that in mind if you're gonna buy this definitely need to swatch it or look at the models to see what the right shade is so I'm gonna start off with just a little bit of this it is a little dark but what's different I know that is not enough I'm gonna go ahead and see what this coverage looks like yeah this is a little dark so we're going to spread it out usually with foundations that aren't the best shade match I try to make sure that I don't put them on thick because then it looks even worse so as you can see, it is dark. I'm gonna bring it down my neck just a little bit, but I am not worried about that. It always balances out, y'all know. We make it do what it do. So 
I definitely, I feel like I like how this is spreading. I do feel like it has a little bit of a glow to it, especially you can see when the light hits it. And for the look that I'm going for, I feel like this is enough coverage. I wouldn't say that it's full. It's definitely not, but I think it's like a strong, strong medium. Like my little burn that's over here, I feel like that's covered pretty well. This is what we have. I don't feel like I need more. And I think this looks good. A little dark, but we can work with it. I like the undertone of this. So I don't know, golden in this works for me. Just for something a little extra, I'm gonna go ahead and apply this Lawless Forget the Filler Overnight Plumbing Mask. I bought this in a set. It came with a mini um, lip gloss and then I bought the set because of this. So this is just a mask. It's pink, even though you can't really see that in the monitor. And it honestly kind of feels like Vaseline. <laughs> so I just want to put a little bit of that on to help my lips, but this is going to go by my nightstand. I really just wanted to see how this compares to the gloss because I absolutely love that gloss. I have so many of them now. I have backups. I am set. For concealer today, I have the Rare Beauty Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer. I have not used this. I know this isn't new, but I had trouble finding my shade. This is 420N. I wanted to get the, the foundation too, but I just feel like it was really hard to pick a shade in that and I felt like none of them really matched. So this, y'all know what the packaging looks like. I think it is really cute. Frosted bottle, matte top. And then this shade, go ahead and swatch it so you guys can see. I think it looks pretty good. So we're just gonna go ahead, I should have put my Becca under eye primer on. I don't know how this concealer wears, but hopefully I don't have a lot of creasing. I do plan on setting it, but we are gonna be a little heavier with the concealer because number one, it's not as light as I've gone and we do need it to help balance out my foundation a little bit. So I'm just gonna do what I normally do to blend this out. I always start around the edges first because I want that to, that doesn't need as much coverage and it helps it to blend better. And then I do my forehead, my nose and my chin and I save under my eyes for last. But I like how this is blending out. I do think the coverage is decent. I wouldn't say that it's full and I do kind of feel like, it says it's a neutral. So I like the undertone of it and I think it goes well with this foundation too. And for this look, I don't normally go like super, super highlighted because this foundation's a little darker. Like I said, I will go ahead and add a little more just to give me a little more coverage and to try to lighten this up a little bit more. And for my setting powder today, I'm gonna go in with one that I used already. If you watched, my last or first I guess I should say of the Sephora hauls from this sale you saw that I kind of struggled with the Fenty powder the setting powder and I don't know if it was just user error or didn't mix well with the concealer that I used in that video but something did not go right and I felt like it did not apply well at all so we're gonna use that again today because if I have the same problems, I'm going to bring it back. I don't know, Fenty, come on. I want to love you. I picked mine up. I don't know if I said this last time. I picked mine up in the shade Banana. So y'all have seen this. This is the packaging. And I don't know, last video, it just did not. It was not a good look. So we're going to try it again. I'm going to make sure this is not creasing. I was like, I don't know if I'm not supposed to bake with it. You know what? Let's do that. I'm going to just try a brush and I'm not going to bake I'm just going to press this in under my eyes and see I feel like this is like super creasy like hurry up and put your powder see I feel like this is the same thing so 
right here in this spot, I remember feeling like I don't like how that looks and I'm seeing it again. I'm gonna give this one more chance and I'm gonna give it a chance with a concealer that I know I love. And if I still have this problem, then I know it has to be the powder. I do feel like this is applying a little better with the brush. So maybe I need to do that first and then I can use my sponge, but I've never had to do that before, so I don't know. I just felt like it was lifting the product when I used it last time. I don't know, I'm not feeling like I'm in love with this, and I don't know if you guys can even see it. I just don't feel like it's giving me the same smooth airbrushed look that I get with my Nakia Joy or with my Laura Mercier, so. I'm gonna take my pocket puff because I really, want to make it sure that this part under my eyes looks like, I hope I don't regret this, I wanna bake. And I also need to do my eyeshadow. So we will see. I'm kinda of nervous about leaving this on too long. <laughs> Hopefully it will be okay. Y'all comment and let me know, have you used this powder? Have you had good luck with it? Am I doing something wrong? Maybe a different way that you use it works for you. I am open to ideas, but I'm not sure what I'm doing wrong. I don't wanna leave this on too long, but you can see it helped. <laughs> it helped brighten quite a bit. So yeah, I ain't gonna bake too long with this. Like, see, this looks patchy here. Yeah, I'm going to take that back. I don't know. Y'all let me know if I'm doing something wrong, but just based on what I have in my collection and other powders that I know I like, I don't have to worry about this. I just don't. I don't love it. So, yeah, that's that. All right, so I'm going to go ahead. Well, okay, so we have bronzers. I guess I can go ahead and do that real quick. I... <laughs> I swatched this set. This is the Fenty Little Bronze Duo Mini Bronzer Set. This is in Sunstalker, the Sunstalker Bronzer in Caramel Cutie. And then this is the Shimmer Match Stick in Cinnamon. Based on pictures on the website, I thought this was going to be darker than what it was. And y'all saw that when I swatched it, it was just not, not the business this is what she looks like and i said that i don't think this is going to do anything for my skin tone because it is too light so let's just see i'm gonna try to load up on the brush and see if that does anything at all but especially considering that my powder i mean my foundation is dark i don't see anything <laughs> I'm going to try this because normally if something is going to work, I can try it in my crease. So I'm just going to see, this isn't even really picking up on the brush. Uh, see, you can see a little bit of it there, but that is definitely not, that ain't going to do anything for me. It sucks because I can't bring this back. I waited too late to try it. Uh, I guess you can see it a little bit. Yeah, you can see it a little bit, but again, I don't like having to dig and dig and dig in my products like this, so I don't know. I don't know when I would reach for this, to be honest. I see a little tiny bit, but that is definitely not enough for, that's not enough for me. The other bronzer that I picked up that I wanted to show you guys, I know you have seen this. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrushed Bronzer, Airbrushed Bronzer. Um, this one is in the shade number four deep. I had actually ordered this in just the refill and I was going to put it in my travel bag, my travel carrying case because it's magnetic. This is so heavy and so luxe. Um, but it came in completely shattered. So I ended up bringing that back and then I just got this big old mamma jamma. So I'm going to go over. Yeah, see, now we got some color. And honestly, when I'm doing this look, I don't really contour a lot unless my face is chunky. 
like it is today. Still working off my vacation weight. <laughs> but for this look, I normally don't worry about contouring a lot, but I definitely bronze. So want this to have some kind of color just to still help give me that chiseled look. Oops, too high on my cheekbone. Girl, blend that out all the way. I definitely like that it gives me some depth. I almost feel like that looks like it's sticking just a tiny, tiny bit. I probably need to apply some more back here by the hairline, but it's fine. It'll work out with my blush. So definitely going to keep this. I like it for blush. Now, here's the thing. I want to try this because I'm probably going to bring it back. This is the Natasha Denona Blush Duo. I said in my haul that I was going to bring it back, but I'm kind of bummed because I really hope this would work well. So I want to go ahead and try it. This is palette number 11. This is the matte orange. And then it said that it was a champagne shimmer highlight. But when I swatched it, sorry, when I swatched it, like I was like, okay, this actually kind of looks peachy. That's more the shade there than this kind of yellow that it's looking on camera but that is definitely an orange and I'm not sure I want to use it I normally do just kind of a bronze look but we're gonna try it because I want to see how this looks but I'm concerned I want to see what this highlighter looks like because this is supposed to be a shimmer okay hmm when I swatched it, I didn't see anything. This is kind of reminding me, y'all remember the Laura Mercier matte highlighter that they used to have? I don't know if she still has it or not, but this kind of reminds me of that. You do see a little bit of a sheen, but it's not like overpowering glittery. Okay. The swatch was making me already decide I was bringing it back to the store because I was not in love with it. But this, we can work with this. See, and this is good if you have texture like I have going on right now. If I were to put something super shimmery over that, it would look horrible. So, all right, you have redeemed yourself because this was in the bag to go back. For this blush, I feel like it is, oh yeah, this is going to be very pigmented. Oh, I'm trying to like lightly dab to get some color on my cheeks, but I love an orange blush for spring and summer, and it looks so good on our skin tone. Okay, it's not as pigmented as I was scared of. I mean, it's pigmented, but not like as bad as I thought it was going to be. So that's what that looks like. Y'all know how much I love my blush and I'm not quite sure. For this look, I don't want a lot. I'm gonna have to build this blush up though because I do want more color on my skin. I'm gonna go ahead and just because, see, I feel like everything's balanced out now. It doesn't look like my foundation's too dark. I am gonna put a little bit more of the Fenty powder just on my jawline to cut my contour a little bit my bronzer a little bit and then take my powder brush and just brush that away so you can see it kind of helps to cut a little bit more give my cheekbones a little more definition and that is it for that just to show you guys what it looks like I think I swatched it in the video I'm not sure but we're gonna go ahead and see what this Fenty matchstick looks like that is a very <laughs> we just talked about how if I put something shimmery see this is kind of like a rose gold oh, that would be pretty though Yeah, see, you can see the difference. Just that little bit I added, I do feel like I see a little bit more texture. So I'm not going to put too much of that. I'm just going to use the little bit I get on my finger. Oh, that makes me... Is it lifting? No. I kind of want to put it on my face. Let's just put a little bit here on the bridge of my nose. 
see that. I really want to put it on my face. We're going to do it. I don't think that's bad. What do y'all think? Do you think that shows a lot of texture? I don't think it does. Not as bad as I thought it was going to be. These are a super, super dry formula. So I don't feel like this brush is really blending it out too well. Like I'm having to use a lot of pressure to kind of push it into the skin, but that's actually not bad. And it's kind of more like a rose gold kind of sheen than it is like a normal gold highlighter. So I got to keep the duo anyway. We're going to work with it. But so far the complexion is coming along really nice. I'm going to go ahead and start on my eyeshadow because this is such a fast look and you guys seem to love it. I'm going to use the Gemini palette. I just got this and what I normally do is just like bronzer in the crease, a little shimmer on the lid, a little darker on the outer V and that is it. And I feel like this palette is going to give me exactly what I need because I used gold. So we're going to stay on this side here. So I'm going to start off with polka dot, which is this shade here and be very messy. To be honest, I don't do a lot for this at all. I love Melt Cosmetics eyeshadow formula so much. And I know a lot of people say they're hit and miss, but like, I don't know. I didn't get that pink one. I didn't really love that color story. It's the only reason why I didn't get it. And a lot of people said that one wasn't great, but the ones that I have, I love. And I just make this really blown out and easy. And you can do this with any neutral palette that you have. Using my refer brushes, finally, um, I'm going to take Cupcake on the refer number 12. Whoa. Ooh, that might be too dark. I don't normally go super dark, so let's see. Oh, no, that's not too bad. And I'm just stamping first to put the color down. It's a little darker than what I normally do for this kind of look. But again, I just put that on the outer third of my eye, not being super precise. And I bring it a little bit into the crease, but not all the way across. Go back with my blending brush. I'm gonna go back into polka dot and just blend out the edges of that. I mean, this is a little tiny darker because I didn't, <laughs> expect that melt shade to be so dark. I thought I was going to have to maybe go into the black, but I did not. And then I'm going to take the shimmer shade Gemini right here and go on my lid. And that is it, y'all. This is the easiest look. See, this is one of those shades I think that's going to fall all over my face. So when I work with shades like this, I'm not going to lie, where are my paper towels? I grabbed just a piece of paper or something to put under my eye to catch the fallout. So I'm gonna grab a paper towel and I'm just gonna hold that under my eye so that if I have fallout, it will not be that bad. So let's see, I probably should wet my brush, but again, that's not something I normally do. So I just do this. See, I don't normally do something that's super shimmery, like it's more of kind of like a uh, satin, but Y'all get the picture. So we're going to use our finger. <laughs> wow. Um, was not expecting that. And y'all know in my video, my eyeshadow was not this bright, but wow. Yeah, see, this is one of those shadows like in the... Mary Jane palette that was like super flaky and everybody hated. But the thing is, if you just push it into the skin really well, look at that shine. I didn't even swatch these, so I did not know what I was getting myself into. Oh my 
God. Okay, I gotta swatch these now because I didn't swatch them in the video. So let's go ahead. First is Luna, which is like a cream. I probably could have did that because that is something I know I also do sometimes. I'll just use a cream. Oh, but I have glitter all over my face. Um, I'll just use a cream. Let's see where I can swatch these and not have a mess. A cream shade to kind of lighten up my lid. Next is the Gemini shade that I have on my eyes. That kind of looks like a duochrome. I hope you guys can see that. It's kind of like a peach to gold shift. Then there's Lorelei. Just this cute kind of mustard shade, which would actually be pretty with the greens. And then polka dot I have in my crease and I'm not even pressing in these hards. I can make these swatches so much darker. Then we have cupcake, which is what I put on my outer V. Super dark and gorgeous. And then we have Bonnie, which is that matte black. Ooh wee, that is a shade you're gonna have to be careful with. Y'all know if the ooh wee comes out, Barbara is impressed. Next we have Leo, which is a matte green. Love shades like this. And I'm barely pressing into the shadows. If y'all have this already, just excuse me, but this is my first time playing with this and I'm still so happy that I got it. So yeah, we're just having a moment with Barbara because she is excited. Next shade is Goals, which is that shimmery green. Oh, do y'all see that? Oh my God. The next one, I'm trying to like wipe up my fingers as I go is Fire OG. I wonder if there's a second fire and that's why this one is OG. Ooh, that's pretty too. It's a little lighter than this one. I feel like they didn't need these shades together though. And then this last one is Moki. So gorgeous shades. If you have this palette already, you already know what it looks like, but I'm going to try to get this glitter off my face and I'm gonna try in that video I did have more of a cut crease kind of not a lot so I'm gonna see if maybe I can wet my brush and get more of that gold in the crease but this is freaking beautiful this is a little more shimmer than what I had in my video but again all I'm doing is putting a gold on the lid so you can pick whatever gold shade that you like all right, I decided instead of trying to make glitter all over my face, I'm gonna take my matchstick and I'm gonna put that on my eyeshadow brush and I'm just going to use that to give my crease a little more definition, kind of like we're doing a cut crease because I did have a little bit of one in that video, but not a lot. And you can see that does give me some definition and the color doesn't take away from the eyeshadow too much. so. I think this ends up working out pretty well without risking trying to get that super foiled shade all over my face. I know people don't like shimmers like this and I mean I get it because honestly up close it does kind of look, I hope you guys can see this, it does look a little crumbly if that makes sense, like it's not smooth. If you have wrinkles on your eyelid then that might be something that bothers you. But for me, I do not care because the shade is gorgeous and super blingy and it looks like freaking metal on your eye. I'm sorry, I know I was supposed to be sticking to the look that I had in that video. Again, just switch out the shimmer shade so it is not as blinding and you guys will have the look. And then I took the dark shade in the outer V, which is cupcake here, and just smudged that at the bottom. Look, I'm gonna go with the match stick and just put this here
But that is it for the eye look. I think I had eyeliner. I'm gonna have to go back and look. I don't even think I did a wing or anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows. Actually, let me do mascara because I do have one I wanna show you guys. Sorry, I got my little box on the floor. This is the Lawless. Let me see if I had eyeliner on before I do this because I always do eyeliner first. All right, so I think all I did was darken my lash line. So I'm gonna get a smaller brush and I'm going to use that dark brown cupcake and just stamp that on my lash line. Oh no, the fallout is real. Okay, yo, this stuff is very powdery. You gotta be careful with melt shadows. I know better. If you put a lot on the brush, brush it off a little bit. I'm going in with Bonnie right now, the black. Cause that brown is so dark, like you can't really see it with the brown already on my eye. And I want a little more definition to make my lash line fuller. I'm gonna put a little bit of black at the bottom too. All right, so now we're gonna go in with the mascara. So this is the Lawless, the one and done long wear volumizing mascara. This is in the shade Nightlife. I've heard so many people talk about this. And y'all know how much I love my Pat McGrath and my Fenty and my, what else we have? Um, can't think right now. Pat McGrath, Thrive Cosmetics. I just ordered three of those. Um, I have my favorites. Oh yeah, already could see it. I don't think you guys can see this, but immediately, this is what I like. When you go to put on a mascara and the first swipe coats your lashes. I hate that you can't see that because I can see it a lot and it does not help that I had on lashes while I was on vacation. So I feel like I probably need to curl my lashes, but this, I hope you guys can see that. Yeah, it's separating them, but not making them look too clumpy. It's just so dark. See, I actually like the wands. I hope you, this one has like that bristle wand and I know a lot of people don't like that, but I actually like those. Oh, this is so good. I honestly don't feel like it's giving me a lot of length, but it's making them so dark that it just makes them look ridiculous. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the eye look. Yes, this mascara is everything that everybody has been raving about. And I am not gonna lie, I'm gonna get a backup during the next sale. It's kind of clumping on me right now, but I mean, look how many coats I've put on. I'm gonna do my bottom lashes too, but I will be back to finish the lips and that will be it for this look. All right, brows are done. I just went ahead and used my Benefit Groove Proof Brow Pencil. Brow, yeah, brow pencil. It's the thicker one, and I literally just carved the bottom, lightly fill in across the top to give it some shape, and then literally the front of my brows, I just like dot, 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 dot. I don't try to get strokes. I already have hair there, so I'm just trying to like fill it in to make it even, and then I brush it all through, and that is it. So. Brows are super easy. We're going to finish off with the lips. I have this Charlotte Chil Chilberry, Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Lip Kit. This is in number three, Intense. Only thing I don't like about this is I think this lipstick is more of a kind of satin finish than it is a matte because I really wanted to try her matte formula, but I haven't tried any of her lip products, so... We're gonna go ahead and use this. Okay, this is a better shade than what I thought it was gonna be. I don't know why I thought this was more of like a berry. And I'll just go ahead and swatch it on my hand for you guys to see. It is a nice chocolate brown. Does not feel drying. It's not dragging or tugging on my lips. It does feel really good with that lip mask from earlier. 
Okay, this does not look at all. I don't know what I saw in the store, but this looks, yeah, see that's more of like a satin. It's not a matte, but this is literally like my perfect combo if I wanna have my lips looking like they're done and filled in, but nothing too crazy. I like this combo. This is gonna go in my purse because I think it is super easy, like no muss, no fuss. The shades go together and it is very flattering for my skin tone. So this actually worked out better than I thought it would. So this is it for the look. It is a little different. The eyeshadow, I'm sorry. <laughs> I did not expect the eyeshadow to come out the way it did. I didn't swatch, I didn't do anything before and I thought that shade was gonna be a little more muted. So again, I was trying to recreate a look that you guys asked me to do, but this looks a little bit different because the eyeshadow is a little more gold. Other than that, this is pretty much it. So comment, let me know what you guys think about this look. I hope you enjoyed it and you got to see everything I used on my face. Do a quick little rundown of the products. This foundation, I do feel like if I were to try to just wear this by itself, definitely would have to set it because it would be all in my lines right here, which I do feel like they're not too bad. I don't know. I feel like they're kind of showing a little more than I would like. And sometimes that happens. It just depends on what products I use underneath. I do like the primer as well. So definitely keeping that. This got saved because I tried it because when I swatched it, it came out horrible and it did not look like it does on my face. So I am going to keep this. Mascara, absolutely bomb. This Fenty powder, I'm still not sure. I feel like I went back under my eyes and tried to brush away the fallout that I had with the powder, just brushing it lightly. And I feel like it helps. I just can't see myself baking with this, but I do feel like I don't love it. I'm gonna bring it back. I'm gonna bring it back. I have too many products to keep stuff that I don't love. So it'd be different if it was sent to me, but that's my money. <laughs> so I'm getting it back. The Fenty bronzer and the matchstick. The bronzer is way too light for me. I honestly, I don't know when I'm gonna use this. I'm probably gonna get rid of it because I just decluttered my bronzers and blushes and I don't wanna stick something in there that I know I'm not gonna use. But the matchstick, I think it's cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. This eyeshadow palette, you already know. You already know, absolutely love it. Glad I finally got to get my hands on it. I am curious to see, I'm gonna check my other Melt Cosmetics palettes and see, did I really need to get Gemini? I did the Collector Emmy and the Eyeshadow Lover tells me I did, but I probably didn't. So. I'm probably gonna do a video and like compare them all and see how much I really needed this, but I'm glad I have it. This last two things that I used, I think, yes. Concealer, I think it's good. I am gonna use it more. This is more of like a not quite glam shade for me because it's not that light, but I couldn't get away with just wearing this by itself. So this would be kind of like my semi going somewhere, getting ready, but not my super everyday shade. But so far, I like it. And then last, the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer. Love the shade. Huge, huge bronzer, like lots of product. It was expensive, but I feel like I'm getting my money's worth and I love that this is refillable. And this lip combo, absolutely love it. This is pretty much what I would wear on a even on a neutral day, like I love this lip combo. So that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Sorry the eyeshadow didn't come out exactly how I did it in that video, but this is pretty much it. Like this is my, I'm going somewhere, I wanna look a little glam, but it's still more warm tone neutrals. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, comment and let me know what your favorite products were. Y'all talk to me about this Fenty product because I don't know why I don't like this powder on me. Is it just me? Do other people not like it? I need to know because I'm bringing it back. Let me know what you think. Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.